Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Thank you for those who are joining us. Uh, it's a very very short uh, uh, brief just to underscore consistency in running government just to underscore consistency in what you say in the opposition and what you say when you're in government that is a theme of my address this morning that is the theme of my address this morning consistency while in the opposition and while in government. Are we good to go, Ramona? Good morning, uh, countrymen and women. Others may say, no, it's afternoon. It's still morning. Uh, by my watch, it's uh, 11.35. 11, uh, yeah. Uh, yesterday, I was extremely shocked by the action of the president in appointing Mr. Roy Mwamboa as the Auditor General of the Republic of Zambia. I'll repeat that. I was extremely surprised to learn that uh, President Hagainde Hijilema has appointed Mr. Roy Muambwa, subject to ratification by the National Assembly as uh, Auditor General of the Republic of Zambia. Countrymen and women, we should at all costs strive to live within the norms of our Constitution. And the President must not be the first one to ab abrogate our Republican Constitution. I remember very, very well, in case my brother, Alayinde Ichilema, has forgotten, that when Mr. Sata nominated Chief Justice Lombe Chive Sakunda, when President uh, Sata nominated Lombe Chive Sakunda, as Chief Justice of the Republic of Zambia, President Hagainde Ichilema, as opposition leader then, fought and insisted that Mrs. Justice Chivesa Lombekunda cannot be ratified or cannot be appointed as the Chief Justice, substantive Chief Justice. This made uh, Judge Justice Chibe Sakunda to act for close to three years. And the reason was very simple, countrymen. The Constitution says that nobody can be appointed as Chief Justice if they are over 65 years old. What was wrong in PF cannot be right in UPND. And that is why the people of Zambia have lost faith in this government. Because like I've said and I want to say it again, it is a government of liars, for the liars, by the liars. The man who has been nominated by President Hagainde Ichilema to be appointed 
as Auditor General of the Republic of Zambia is 63 years old. 63 years old. And yet the Constitution is very instructive that the Auditor General should retire at 60 years. Meaning, therefore, that nobody above 60 years can be nominated or appointed as Auditor General. What the President has done is an oblig abrogation of our Constitution. And you know when a President abrogates the Constitution, he can even be impeached. For avoiders of doubt, let me read what the Constitution says in Article 152. For avoidance of doubt, let me read what the Constitution says in Article 162. Uh, Article 162, 152, sorry. Until that appointment is revoked or until the Auditor General returns to office. Article 152.1 says, subject to this article, the Auditor General shall retire office on attaining the age of 60 years. Now, the man who has been nominated is 63 years old. Why should it be right for the Auditor General to be appointed when he's above 63 years and it should be wrong for the Chief Justice not to be appointed to be appointed if he's above the statutory limit of 65 years old. What President Aga Indeichilem has demonstrated in this country is inconsistence through and through his leadership. He told us traveling by the president is expensive. This money can be used to pay student, uh, 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 student uh, uh, allowances. This money can be saved to uh, fight uh, poverty among the people. What do we see today? In two years, he has traveled 40 times out of the country. And today, he has forgotten what he said when Justice Lombechwe Sakunda was nominated to be uh, ratified as Chief Justice. And Mr. Sata obliged when issues of the Constitution was raised and Mama Chibet, uh, uh, Justice Lombe Chibesa Kunda remained acting until she was replaced by uh, the late Irene Mambirim. Our President, our President, our President, our President, you are not above the law. And if you are going to abrogate the Constitution with impunity, because you think you are the Alpha and the Omega. My brother, your future will be very bad. Your future will be very bad in this country. You are the one who is arresting everybody and anyone on flimsy grounds, but you want to abrogate the Constitution with impunity. It's never done. It's never done, my brother. And I want to say that I blame the system, which is the civil service. Because these things, the system is supposed to advise. Where is the Secretary of the Cabinet? Where is the Minister of Justice? Where is the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Justice? For you to let the President go ahead and announce this nomination when it is against the provision of the constitution. The President Papa Banson, Gawaluba Munina Nekutila Fesori, 
and rescind the decision. And I'm appealing to you to rescind that decision and apologize to the people of Zambia. Take a leaf from President Michael Sata, who at one time nominated 10 MPs nominated when the provision of the Constitution uh, 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 provides for eight. All Mr. Sata did, he rescinded the decision and apologized. Even you, my brother, just rescind that decision and apologize. But the problem is that you want a user-friendly Auditor General because of the so many scandals that are happening in this government. Particularly in the procurement of fertilizers. Particularly in the procurement of fertilizers. And the way CDF is being uh, uh, utilized. And many other issues including giving tax holidays to mining companies that do not even reciprocate. For instance, the giving of tax concessions to FQM when they promised to invest 1.3 billion in northwestern province and promised to create more jobs and yet they went ahead to retrench more people. These are the inconsistencies that we don't want from the office of the president. So Fluffy never president Fluffy ne mwalu ishisho kukana ba justice chibe sakunda ukweba tete chief justice tete wa ratified as substantive chief justice because ba kumani shemi akasikte five kuringa na constitution na imwewe ne tatu amusu minishe ukutira muchita ratify Roy Dr Roy Mwamba nothing against Dr Roy Mwamba. Nothing against him. He's a qualified, eminently qualified person. But unfortunately, the age has catch up with him. And the constitution cannot allow him to be ratified. I want to appeal to members of parliament. If the president becomes arrogant and doesn't want to rescind this decision, don't ratify because you'll be part of the people that will be abrogating the constitution of the Republic of Zambia as espoused in Article 152.1 of the Constitution of the Republic of Zambia. Chishimba Kambui, signing off. Long live Zambia. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.